Namibia. Namibia agrees to allow the EU to exploit its rare earth minerals. Namibia has just agreed to give access to its rare earth minerals that are used for renewable energy to the European Union. The administration of President Hage Gottfried Geingold is preparing the way for EU member nations to explore and mine Namibia's vast rare earth mineral reserves, as reported by Robert Besser. According to Voice of America, quote, the EU is interested in developing the mining of minerals like lithium, cobalt, and graphite, which are currently mined on a small scale in the country, unquote. Namibia has rare earth minerals used in batteries, cell phones, and electric cars. Namibia and the EU are in the process of signing a Memorandum of Understanding. Namibia's mining industry is owned and run by whites. According to a report by Deutsche Welle, in 2018, whites own 70% of Namibia's arable land. The German colonizers at the beginning of the 20th century killed 70% of the Herero people and 50% of the Nama people before stealing most of their land. Angola. Angola nationalizes 50% of the shares of nation's largest telecom. The administration of Angolan President João Lourenço has appropriated 50% of the nation's largest telecom, Unitel. Angola has nationalized the stake held in Unitel by Vitatel, which adds up to 25% of Unitel's total shares. Vitatel is a company founded by the erstwhile richest woman in Africa, Isabella dos Santos, the daughter of the late president Jose Eduardo dos Santos. According to Angola Telegraph, a Facebook post by President Lorenzo stated that the, quote, state recognizes its industrial value, its aggregate technical capacity, modern technological profile, and its reference in national employability, unquote. Dos Santos currently resides in the UK while her assets in Angola have been frozen due to her being investigated for corruption. Similarly, the Lorenzo administration nationalized the shares of Unitel owned by Guinea, which also adds up to 25% of Unitel shares. Guinea's owner, General Leopoldino, Fragaso do Nascimento has been sanctioned for allegedly misappropriating funding intended for infrastructure development projects. As claimed by Angola Telegraph, Unitel has 12 million customers of a total population of 32 million, which translates into 80% of Angola's telecom market. Tanzania Tanzanian LNG project to earn economy up to $15 billion annually. Tanzanians 32.7 billion Lindy LNG project with Shell and Equinor oil companies is projected to bring in between $7 billion and $15 billion annually for the government when in operation. The administration of President Samia Suluhu Hassan signed a framework agreement in June 2022 with Shell and Equinor and plans to sign the host government agreement this December. The final investment agreement is scheduled to take place in 2025. As reported by Energy Voice, the project should employ 6,000 workers during construction, but should lower that number to 500 when it is operational. According to Al Jazeera, the project should be operational between 2029 and 2030.